guys, it's Saturday. I slept in a little bit today. <laughs> well, we were up till one o'clock, first of all. We usually don't stay up that late. We were watching that paranormal lockdown and I was making that Tsum Tsum box. And uh, yeah, so I woke up at 8.45 and got out of bed at nine. I was like, see, so. Things are a little behind this morning, but I'm now showered. I'm about to run out to go check my P.O. box and pick up a prescription. And I think that's all I'll do for errands. I should probably go to the bank, but I keep putting that off indefinitely, so I'll just not go there. <laughs> and that's about it. And then I'll come back, work on book stuff after I clean up all this mess. And that is pretty much it for today's plans. Just crank out a bunch of book stuff. Oh, baby, you like the mail? I also picked up some almond milk because we're out. This isn't the kind I like, but the place I went to, it's like it's convenient to go there, but they don't have the brand I like, so I just suck it up. <laughs> he must be cleaning the bathroom. I forgot I also want to edit one toy video today, so I'm gonna do that right now. And done. Baby, why are you whining? Give me a kiki. Mommy will hold you. What would I do without my little companions? Scan, scan, scan! So I'm on a roll today, which is pretty good, because uh, in yesterday's vlog I was going to work on a bit of book stuff. Not much, because I was doing so many other things yesterday. I was going to try to get in a little bit, but it did not happen, but it doesn't really matter that much, I guess. Uh, even when I move things around, I always make sure I hit my deadlines, so I know it seems sometimes like maybe I'm just slacking off because I'm like, ah, never mind, I'm not going to do this today. <laughs> it's just that I move things around, so instead I'll do something that I was going to do another day, and so ultimately it ends up being the same amount of work over the same time span. And I'm definitely the kind of person who will do whatever it takes to meet a deadline, uh, before my deadline rolled around, my editor emailed me just to see how things were going, and she's like, oh, do you need an extension on your deadline? And I was like, heck no. I'm good. I got this. <laughs> Plus, like I always say, I hate just sitting down to work on something for a short sitting. That was part of the reason why I didn't want to do it yesterday. Um, some things, like for me, filming the toy videos, because it doesn't take too long, that's the kind of thing I like squeezing in in the evenings when I have just maybe like a two or three hours left in the evening before bed. But um, when it comes to work on my book, I like to just have a huge block of time available because then once I'm in the zone, I just like to stay in the zone and be super productive and get a lot done. So that's kind of how my brain goes through this thinking, I guess, thinking process. Because, like, obviously three hours, that's a good chunk of time. Like, I could get quite a bit of book work done in that time, but my brain just like, nah. I'm not going to be able to get on track in that amount of time. And I'm like, okay, whatever. This marker is dying. Is this one of my ones that needs a refill? No. 
I don't have a refill for it and it's not marked on the list as one I need, so I should write that down. All my light E colors are dying. <laughs> These book days are relaxing though, because I'll just throw on some kind of movie or a live stream in the background, audiobook, whatever it is, and just chillax. And just work on my stuff, I guess. <laughs> Because, like, when I'm working on a YouTube video, my art videos are always recorded during live streams. And I obviously can't just watch videos in the background while I'm live streaming. And so, this is more relaxing. I need to multitask anyway. Like, I rarely just sit down to watch TV or something. I need to be doing something else at the same time unless it's like Game of Thrones or Once Upon a Time. Those are like the only shows I sit down for and How to Get Away with Murder. There's like very few that'll actually just sit there and watch without doing anything else. Although uh, Christian and I last night we watched one episode of a series of unfortunate events and it's just so visually pleasing that I think that's going to have to be one that I just sit and watch because it looks pretty. I've never read the books and I've never seen the old movie. Or was there more than one old movie? I don't know. I've never seen any of it. So it's all new to me and I'm liking it so far. I just scratched my side because I was itchy. Because I have some irritation from when my band-aid was stuck to me. My skin is still a little bit irritated from the band-aid. But uh, I kind of ripped open the cut. Like it's still closed-ish but I kind of tore it open a little bit. You can see some fresh blood inside. That's just ugh. that happened to me the other day. I just like rolled over in bed, and it just kind of caught and just ugh, rip. And I'm like, ah, no, damn it, you nasty. Just heal. You can see some of the redness from the band-aid still. And I took the band-aid off on the second day, but it's still like itchy and irritated from it, which is weird because I never had allergic reactions to band-aids before. But yep, that's the update on what that looks like. This is really frustrating and I should have foreseen this. I really need to pick up some of these soon. I always feel like I want to wait till I have a long list and then order them because I don't know, every time I order some, there's always refills I need immediately after I make that order and I'm like, oh. So I don't know, but I should order these soon just because I am working on the book. So I should probably do that soonish. Like right now, I desperately need this E13. It died on my Moana picture and I have it upright right now, brush nib down. Hopefully a little bit of ink just kind of gets to the nib because uh, I need it. I mean, I could always put this tutorial on hold. I mean, really the tutorial is done. This is just like a sample. I'm like, it's like a skin color thing like it was a how to draw skin tutorial and then there's a page with four additional examples of different skin tones and I'm on the last one this is like this super pale blending color which is why I really need it all the other colors are much darker but that's the one I need to blend everything out with so I need that one the most and so yeah maybe I should order some of this stuff right now see if I can find it and then I can color the last head <laughs> later I'm kind of doing multiple tutorials at once right now too like I'm not just working on the skin one right now I'm doing some other ones at the same time so I can continue on with those ones and I can still scan and clean up all the artwork except this one right there although I might just wait to clean everything up together just so it's consistent but yeah I think I'll put it on hold see if I can find these suckers online so I just ordered from Otaku Fuel. Their whole website has changed and now it's mainly focused on just art supplies. Before there was all kinds of stuff you could get on there, but now it's like very focused on the art stuff. I don't even know if they sell their other stuff anymore, but yeah, um, I ordered from there because they had almost every single refill color in stock. I went through my chart because not only did I have this list right here, I had other ones that I really wanted and I just looked through my chart and I managed to get all of them. None of them were out of stock that I wanted. So I'm like, yes, yes. And so that will come sometime. I don't know. <laughs> Should be here within two weeks. 
so yeah anyway it's 9 40 so i'm gonna stop working on this stuff for the night um maybe just go sit on the couch for a little bit i should pick up one of my books that i've been reading lately that i haven't read in like forever <laughs> i haven't read any books in months and i have like at least three on the go plus audiobooks and i need to actually finish them and i still haven't read cursed child i was all excited to buy that and then i just never sat down to read it but it seems like it's pretty quick so maybe i should start that and then i can you know if i just read it a little bit in the evenings i should be able to finish it quite quickly Kitty cats, kitty cats everywhere. Uh -huh. Look, beepies, it's calling me. I've got too many on the go, and I'm starting another one. Bugs, bugs, bugs. This book looks pretty wicked without the dust jacket on it. Look at this, Christian. Damn, son. I hate dust jackets, so I took it off. Are you in kitty cat heaven there over there? Yeah. I haven't gotten very far, but I'm really tired, so I'm gonna go to bed. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Part of me wants to go full cringe with the toy channel, and I know it's cringy as it is, but, you know, I almost want to go full cringe, like, do little skits with different dolls I have, or, like, the calico critters, like, do little stories with them. Those videos would require more setup and planning.